Hey guys, I hope you like slow progress. We love it. It's like, this is kind of like the part of the video. I mean, you can see, look, this has all been cleaned out. It's been like double washed with a power washer. And this is how we learned, this is where all the brake fluid's going because all the paint has disintegrated and disappeared. And James went, that's normal. That's how you find if there's a master cylinder leak of some sorts. So that's where all the fluid's gone. Um, it's one o'clock on Friday. This is upload day, <laughs> but it's like, you know, this is boring. Cleaning this is boring. How boring was it, James? It's very boring. It's boring. No one cares. It's just, and then that's it. And like, this has been lots of just little fiddly bits and covers and stuff. Like, no big, chunky, interesting bits. It, this is when weekly car videos becomes very difficult. Hopefully, it's getting plonked in, and that's going to be like the big thing. I mean, like, the engine bay looks pretty, pretty good. It's okay. This is the engine mount. This literally is the bolt that holds it into the car, basically. And these are rubber, so as the engine wiggles, you don't feel it in your seat. James, don't throw it away. We just made it. Well, it's not fruit. Like, it lasts longer than a week, you know. No. James, what, you just want to start again? I want to start again. Well, the bin man's not going to be happy about this because it's not in the receptacle. James is flipping the engine around. The bin was convenient. You can stop unsubscribing now. The drive shafts got so close together. Like, are they sharing the same gear or something? About that far apart. Wow. So yeah, it's like just one gear in between. Yeah. Well, it's the shaft in the middle of the diff. This is the cross member. This is like what the engine sits inside of. It's kind of like the the cradle of the engine, James. Yeah. Ooh, paint job. Fancy paint. What's the fancy paint for? Where the brake fluid ate the paint that was there before. Oh, matches great. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Bonnet's coming off. This is hard to film one handed. Up we go. Don't scratch the paint. <laughs> oh, here she goes. Big day. Has it been revved within its life already and put in a bin? Look, you can see the cross member. That's why these are genius. You can angle it to try and like get the, the gearbox in first or whatever sort of thing. Yeah, I reckon you need one of these if you're ever playing with a motor. When you want to stop lowering it, don't accidentally turn it the wrong way. Yeah, you control this with like a dingle stick that you twist into this like flat looking thread. And that's how you lower the pressure in the hydraulic thing, which lowers it. If you twist it the wrong way, it goes <laughs> Oh, it's hung up on the, the brake. Again, that's so nifty. Oh. Oh. <laughs> so nifty. <laughs> oh, crap design. This is a piece of crap. <laughs> Everything sucks. I was literally so nifty. <laughs> <laughs> Engine bay is looking so clean though. Like everything all tidied up like this. It's nice. Shame about the rest of it. Yes. Put on that sweet air conditioning. And the whole time that James has been underneath this because it's slightly damp from being power washed, he said it smells like rats. It does. It's because you've owned rats. I have. You don't have any anymore, do you? No. What happened? Oh, oh no, they all died. They all died. Yeah. Rats like dying. They live for three years and then they die. They do. Yeah, it's bolted to the cross member. Like, I mean, the back bolts aren't in yet, are they? It's finger tight. <laughs> finger tight, mate, she's in. She's in, baby. That's it, off the crane, in the car. So tidy, look how clean it is. Like, just flashing back to how it looks like when we first got in here. I, now it just looks like regular crappy old car that's just kind of a little bit poo and skid mark stain. Can't even see the magic black paint. It's gone. It's just this weird black void now. Ah, oh, James just noticed that the bin broke the reverse light switch in the gearbox. <laughs> <laughs> well, we need to put it in the bin, James. Let's get it out. Yeah. So this is the bit when it, you know, a project layer kind of drags a little bit, you know, because still heaps of brakes to eat. You know, like it's in the car, this motor. 
but you know, there's a lot of wiring and stuff hanging around that needs to be plugged in. Like, this is when car builds get really, really slow. And as I said, like, we only do this two times a week. Like, two days a week is when we're able to work on this, and we have other hustles. James did whisper to me and say, well, oh, we could get it to start on the key. That, that'd be pretty neat. James, if you can get this, like, we put a key in, turn it, and it starts, that'd be, that'd be pretty good. Yeah, I'll give it a go. All right. So all the ratty smell and rat poo and stuff, and I actually mentioned, I was like, wow, haven't found any chewed wires. And then um, James found it. Yeah, well, great. Awesome. That's, yeah. that's awesome. And, oh. Dodgy jerry cam fuel line setup. A new battery that was bought for it, I think four to five months ago. So, you know, hope that's still good. That's nice and green. Mm -hmm. Big spark noise, big spark noise, big spark noise. Ooh, I heard something. Me too. Oh, it's a solenoid. The ignition must be on. Oh, uh, those wires aren't sparking down here. That's nice. I'm, I'm worried about those now. That's not gonna create a short, is it? If it does, it'll blow the fuses. Oh, goody. All right, turn that key. Uh, nothing's happening. Good. I found why. James found the reason why it didn't work. That's broken. Nice. That's a win. Well, I mean, it's running out of a jerry can sort of thing and there's other stuff from the rat shoot and, and you know, the whatever. But I mean, it's in the car and it started and blew fire out of the raw exhaust ports and has no cooling system or... Mm. This is probably where, like, the, the free car build's gonna feel like it's slowing down. It's not. We're gonna be working on this just as much. There's some stuff that just doesn't make very good videos. So, I mean, next week we need to talk about the... Oh, the donkey van. The donkey van's dying, guys. The donkey van's dying. Uh, but part eight definitely is being worked on. It's not like it's gonna be like, you know, several month hiatus and we're gonna be waiting. Um, but yeah, it's now just really annoying, fuddly stuff. And so hopefully the next update on this is gonna be like a nice, big, fat video, you know, fixing it, stupid donkey van. So nice work, James. That's amazing. Thank you. Love your work. Uh, you know, I'll smell you when I'm looking at you next. Mm. You know, ooh, that's still making noises. Yeah, I'll turn it off in a minute.